Hi, it's Big Bird 130 here, or Steve as people like to call me. Uh, I'm in the garage today. It's single digits, that's in Celsius, uh, outside, so she's pretty chilly. Uh, I think it's supposed to get to about 8 degrees Celsius here today. Um, so, yeah, she's chilly, and she's chilly in the garage. Anyway, um, I've got another unboxing for you today. We added another saw to the collection. Uh, this is an SX25, so this is a small arborist saw that comes from Bormarag. Uh, so uh, we're going to unbox that today and have a look at it. It just arrived, hot off the uh, off the truck. Uh, so we'll get in and have a look at it. Right, so what we got? We've got more gear protection. I've got a collection of these now. Uh, I don't know if they're a strange standard, but there they are. We have another set of goggles. Uh, these all plastic goggles that they send with these things. Uh, we have the 10 inch uh, bar. Uh, it's a 10 inch saw, um, so quite small. We have the bar cover, um, or the scabbard. Mixing bottle, I'm getting a collection of these as well. Uh, of course I've mixed my fuel in 5 litre lots, uh, so this is pretty useless to me. Put it over here with the other one. The uh, instructions. Uh, which is go to this website and get the instructions. It's the same instruction manual for all of their saws. All the Bull Murray saws have exactly the same instructions. You go to the site and uh, there's nothing specific to any saw. Have some more gloves. Um, I'm getting a collection of these as well. Um, they're handy to have around just if you... Uh, I get holes in my gloves fairly regularly with some of the stuff that I do, particularly with land care. So, uh, uh, you yeah. know, they're there, I can chuck them in the car. Ah, now this is a strap. Uh, it's a strap to hang the saw off your uh, shoulder. Uh, it's just a normal strap. Uh, just in case you're climbing trees or climbing up ladders and stuff, you can hang the saw off your shoulder. Power head. Oh. And the chain. Very light, is what I could say. Um, it's got, uh, it's supposed to have the easy start that they have. On the back here we've got the choke, I think, no, that's to undo the uh, air filter in the back there. The choke is here, on off switch, and what else, we've got a brake, it's quite stiff, and yeah, looks pretty good so far. No adjustment for chain oiling, um, so I assume that it's going to be fine. What else have we got here? Oh, we've got a tool kit with a hole in it. They always seem to come with a hole in the bag. So the tool kit comes with a file. This has fallen out of its plastic bag. A file, small screwdriver to adjust the carburetor, uh, a gear, I think, or something to do with, I don't know, probably the oil pump or something. Uh, they do send a 
additional stuff for the oil pump in most of their tool kits. Uh, you can see here it's, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'll bring it up to the camera. Someone might be able to tell me. It doesn't seem to have the same cam on it that, that the other saws come with. It's got the uh, scrunch for the chainsaw tool and an Allen wrench. So I'm collecting these tool kits as well. Um, so I don't know what I'll do with that. Put it somewhere, I suppose. Anyway, uh, that's the saw unboxed. Uh, I can put the uh, bar and chain on if you uh, probably do now. And another scrunch. Oh, I think you have to undo the back as well. Yeah, there's a thing here that you have to unscrew which holds the, the case on. I'll show you up close. See here? You have to undo that as well. It's a tad inconvenient. Um, but anyway, comes off. It's a uh, sprocket nose bar, can grease it, so that's pretty good. And, uh, I'm get the as well. So I'm a bit restricted for space in here, mainly because I've got a whole heap of junk hanging around. I've got saws on the floor and I've got a toolkit over there and you know, it's all over the place. So um, I've got to do a big clean out of my garage. Now, I think this is supposed to be 3.8 chain, but I'm not sure. It doesn't look like it. The bar says nothing to do with the gauge or anything like that. It says, I'm assuming it's 0 0.50. It's a bit hard to tell. Uh, anyway, there's no markings on it to tell me what sort of chain it is. It doesn't look like 3 8, it's much smaller than that. So, we'll see how we go. Now yeah, we get this around the right way. It's the right way. There's not much room between between the uh, exhaust pipe and the uh, the sprocket, or the clutch I should say, to get this in. So. A bit challenging to get in there. Anyway, we seem to have done the job. Yeah, that's better. And it's side adjusting. So I'll uh, just take it back a bit. If that fits. Right, 
are in. Sorry with my back to you, but uh, as I said, it's difficult to find a spot to uh, film this. So you can see here there's this uh, side thing you have to screw on. It stops that flapping around, I'm assuming. Right, that's probably a bit tight. And I shouldn't do that with my hands. Let me just see if these things are right. Okay. Brake works. Good. So there you go. I'm going to give you another close up look at it. I think the chain's loosened off already. Anyway, there it is. Top handled saw. Very nice. So I will do a video um, of it cutting some stuff. I might even cut it in a small wattle or two with it. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a nice looking little saw. The uh, lockout's a bit stiff. Uh, but otherwise, pretty good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe and comment um, if you want to. Um, as I said, it's a bit cold today and, and uh, I'm going out in a little while, so I won't be able to uh, do any cuts today. The cold doesn't really stop me, but the, the, uh, the fact that I'm not going to be here for much longer or going out uh, is the case. So anyway, please like, subscribe and comment. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.